All right, I'm getting closer little by little on this barn foundation ordeal predicament. I got my forms up. So finally, straight. And I'm just gonna pour open trench there. And on that side I got a partial partial board. I just have to place it in. Now I am to the point of installing my rebar. I need to fuse the rebar to the previous concrete as to make one giant footing or concrete beam. It's overkill now that I'm looking at it. Well, I knew it was, but I really have all this block. It's actually that stuff. It's quite big block, but I got really cheap a few years back. I want to build up this wall, at least to here. Probably going to be up to here, one course above this. This beam is actually high. Jacked up on my dad years ago. So I have, well, I'm trying to compact the soil, so I wetted it down. And now it's a little bit too wet, so I'm letting it dry out for an hour or two. I'm going to pack it down. I have a post packer, it's too wet. Well, I'm using it as a packer. Post hole uh, T post for putting fence posts in. I actually have it welded bigger on the bottom for crushing cans. I think that'll work well, otherwise, I'm just going to use a little block like that. This is such a pain trying to do this in a trench, tripping on everything. I'll be so happy when this is, when this is done. I might pick up a little more concrete because. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have more than enough. So the next step will be to blow all these holes out that I drilled. All these holes need to be dry and clean of foreign material or uh, loose particles. So what you want to do you want to get compressed air, I think is probably the best way to do it. And just blow those suckers up. Got extras. There's water in that one. Still dusting couple of them. I already blew them out once or twice. Try to make sure they're clean of all loose materials for the bonding of the concrete. And the rebar, these are just pieces of rebar that I'm trying to make do. I'm going to place them, fuse them into the concrete footer like that way. I'm going to hook it on to the new concrete. This, hopefully this works. I mean, it will work. The plan. Another thing to consider when trying to bond this rebar to the concrete, you need to. This one isn't too bad, I might be fine, but I'd rather be safe than sorry to make these cheap attachments for drills. You get a good pack of them at Menards for like five or six bucks, they're pretty cheap. That way the bonding glue can do its job better. You'll have maximum holding power. I've done that to all the other ones on the ends. So we should have no problem 
adhering to the rusty old rebar that I'm using. They also say to use a brush like one of these. I don't remember where I got this one, but I'm pretty sure I got it at Menards or something. To help clean the holes out. I usually do this a couple times in each hole, and then the compressed air again. And then you should have clean holes. You gotta have a clean hole. When it's 50, 60 degrees out, that is not optimum temperature for this anchoring epoxy that I'm using. This is about the cheapest stuff I could find, and it happens to be at Menards. Uh, operating temp, I believe it says, is 70 to 100 degrees. So I got it in my greenhouse, warming up. Had it in here all day, and it's like 85 in here, so should be good to go. Otherwise. I have used this stuff before and I noticed it does come out fairly thick. I did not heat it up last time. So hopefully it works a little better this time. I'm attempting to use a half gone container of this stuff first. Although I don't think that pushes all the way in so I don't think there's actually much left kind of a goofy container. It's got two epoxies. They mix through this special mixer mix pack straw thing they call it. You only get one and you can't even buy extras in the store so it's kind of a stupid deal. So when you do this make sure it, I mean it's one time use pretty much. That's what I'm saying, so. Because I don't believe you can clean the stuff out. I did not try it last time I used it. I'm gonna try it this time. But I don't think it'll clean up. I think it's gonna be too thick and stuck inside of it. You can see that mixing, but. Let's uh, get this done finally. I'm sick of this project. Fill the holes up. Let's see if I can. Man, a camera. Um, I'm gonna wreck my camera, is what I'm gonna do. And from my experience, you only have to fill the hole up halfway. But that's pretty hard to tell. How do you really know? I think this container is already... I had that hole plenty deep. Let's see. You twist it as you insert. You state on the packaging. And it looks like I used plenty too much. So, so that's where it's going to be. I wish I could get more in there. I'm actually just using an old nail here because I'm not happy how this stuff came out. I'm going to squish it in there a little bit more. Set time is supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes. That's a little better. I think so. And there you go. That is how you epoxy rebar to cement. I'm going to finish up the other ones because I kind of got a skeleton here that I'm going to put together with the bars coming from this other foundation piece to the new foundation piece that'll be here and on top. And then I got more rebar going in there. So I will show you when I'm done.